What is up? And I know what you're thinking. I'm ready for a good ass back day video. But looking at the title, we're doing shoulders. Today I was getting ready to go to the gym and I don't know, just wasn't feeling a back day. Haven't hit shoulders in a minute. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Seated shoulder press, dumbbell lateral, lateral raises, and on the rear delt pack deck. We're, we're gonna be changing it up a little bit, getting a little extra shoulders in, and then probably just throwing some wrist curls at the end. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Starting off as per usual, we got lateral raises. Let's knock this first set out and see how we're feeling with the weight. That's actually, I really like using the 30s now because it's at the perfect amount where I can get like eight to 12 solid reps and then just finish off with some half reps. Yeah, lateral raises got to be one of my favorite shoulder exercises, man. Especially when wearing like a tank top or something like this. You can see just, you can just see the muscles working. It's so cool. Yeah, that pose gets me every time. I love that shit. Okay, so I think for now I'm gonna postpone the slow and controlled lighter weight ones because I wanna move on to just regular shoulder press so I'm not completely gassed out and I can get a decent amount of reps, decent amount of volume in for that. And then after that, we'll move on to rear delts. Fucking go, baby. A long time without training front delts. And I'm hitting the 55s for 11? That's freaking hype, man. So yeah, we did have to flip the hat forward because otherwise the brim was hitting the, uh, the back of the bench. I think we're gonna go down five and then just do two more sets and then we'll be clear for, for front delts. So pissed, dude. I thought I could. I thought I could muscle up. Oh shit! I thought I could muscle through that last rep there and get uh, what was it, 11? I'm pretty sure. I got like 60% of the way there. It is what it is, though. It's good that I'm gonna be pushing through this one.
Okay, well I wait for the uh, reverse pec tech to get open. I'm not just gonna sit here and wait, you know? So I'm gonna be doing probably just two sets of face pulls just to get the rear delts activated, get them ready. And then we can finish them off on the reverse pec deck because I haven't done that in a while. And a lot of people say it's a good movement for rear delts, so why not try it out? Why not test it, see how it feels? But uh, let's just smash these two reverse, no, just these two face pulls and then get that going. That is the perfect weight. Like I normally say, I want like eight to 12 reps, solid reps, and then we can throw in a couple half reps at the end, just to really finish off the muscle group. Reverse pec deck, or rear delt fly, if you'd like to say it that, that way. Now this is, this is a movement I haven't done in a minute. I used to do it here and there. Didn't really feel that much activation, but again, that was months ago, so I might've just been using it wrong, not hitting it the right way. So we're gonna try it out. I just did a few tester sets, not sets, but reps. And it, it did feel pretty good. I did feel activation in the rear delts. So I'll probably sit here for two or three sets just to finish off the rear delts and see how it feels, I guess. And don't worry, I will be giving you guys the back shots. The shots from behind. Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm trying to say, pause. Uh, but not just from the front, so you guys can see the real movement in the the squeeze of the rear delts. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> okay, anyways, let's get this first set done. Okay, scratch that. Just figured out straight arms is the way to go. Because I definitely, definitely feel my rear delts more doing it that way. So we're going to do that, lower the weight a little bit, and slow and controlled. Hey, good tips, good tips. Come on now. All right, coming off the rear delt flies. I think that's gonna be added into the, the shoulder workout more often because once I figured out that it was a straight arm movement, I definitely started feeling it a lot more back here, which is the main point of the, the reverse pec deck. So yeah, I'm gonna be starting doing that more. I still do like face pulls though, those are, gonna stay in there no matter what stay in the lift no matter what but uh anyways let's get a little pose down action in then uh then we got abs after this and we're out of here you gotta roll up the sleeve, sleeves a little bit get the traps going it was definitely a little bit better after the lat raises and shoulder presses but Either way, it's a sick, sick pump. And I don't really know how to flex the rear delts at all. 
So we'll just leave it at that. That's it. Back lat spread and back double by. Then we should be good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do abs, and in between sets, I'm gonna check out how this pump check went, and see what the thumbnail is gonna be, and then, then we'll go hit the car.